Welcome to a couple of monkeys. My wife and I had a small commission for creating some tags for a baby shower. We wanted to have a message from the baby on this project. We started this project in Inkscape. We wanted some basic and exciting shapes for babies. So a star was perfect. I decided to place the star within a circle, making it look like a ball. I've been watching a lot of videos on ChatGPT, so I asked the chatbot if it could give me something funny to put on something for a baby shower. Quite honestly, it only gave me a bunch of poop jokes and sleep jokes. My wife ended up being inspired, and she ended up picking the two messages on each side of the coin. And I just had to make a place to put it. So I drew out an outline for a banner, and made it look three-dimensional and flipped one side over to the other. Then I typed out the baby's message. Message from the bump. And thank you for celebrating with us. Now I had to resize the banner so everything would fit and make an invisible line following the bottom outline of the banner. Then I selected both the message and the invisible line, went to the extensions tab, then I selected put onto path. This made the message follow the path of the invisible line. After looking at the results, I just really hated the font. Last year I made a shadow box for a friend of mine that I served with in the Navy. When looking for the letters that I used for his box, I ended up finding this wonderful website called FontSpace. I ended up finding a font that I liked called Craftsman. I had to allow Inkscape to read the font, which would honestly make a video all in itself because of it's a lot more harder than you would think. But in the end, it was just one more level of security that I had to allow in order to use a new font in Inkscape. And here's the website that I used in order to figure this out. Now I repeat the process I did before, only using the font that we wanted to use. So I personally thought that uh, having the whole message on one side was a good idea, but we decided to go ahead and have a message from the bump on one side and thank you for celebrating with us on the other. I honestly love how versatile the follow the path tool is on Enscape. I can put multiple nodes in the invisible line so I can move and manipulate the line so I can adjust the curve of the line. So I attempt to make the outer area of the font blue so I can use the vector engrave setting on the laser engraver. But there was a lot of errors inside of the wording and instead of going through each little area and deleting the extra blue piece I create an image of it with my snipping tool. Then I paste the image. Then I go to the toolbar and go to path and trace bitmap. Now I'll be able to make it into a solid color so then I can hollow it out and make the numbers wireframe again by selecting no fill and keeping the stroke on. This also ended up giving me a lot of extra lines that I didn't need. So I went ahead and deleted the nodes and kept the areas that I needed so I wouldn't have double lines on the final project. And I basically repeated the same process for the same message on the back. I also wanted to make sure that both of the ribbons were the same size and I was able to overlay them on the star and the ball and create a red outline that will be able to be cut out with the vector cut setting. A good example of how I did this was on the Korok hunt that we did for Easter. And I made an array of these so I can cut them out on a sheet of plywood. We have an affiliate link for Monport Laser where you can get 6% off your purchase of this model right here. Use the link below and use the promo code TIMOTHY6. 
Now I use the vector engrave setting. Remember, if you like this content, consider subscribing. Ring the bell icon if you're interested in getting updates on future videos. And consider giving us a thumbs up on this video. I use the vector cut setting. After they're all cut out, I flip them over so I can engrave the other side using the vector engrave setting. If you're interested in getting a project custom made by us, consider going to bunkieswoodworking.com. Our commissions are now open. We decided to pair these with some berry baskets and some seeds. Little seed packets with baby in bloom. And here's the final product. Huh, I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's going to be in a future video. You're going to have to subscribe and stay tuned for this one. The baby shower ended up being a huge success. Thank you for watching this video.